Cosmic loves, how are you? Uh, I know I missed like last week or two. No, no, me. I'm just here to help give you guys guidance. And I do my best. I do my best. So, our weekly guidance is from April 4th to April 10th. We are in April. We are in April. How is how is your spring equinox? Your vernal equinox? How was your new year? How was your spring beginning? Like, I hope you guys are feeling all right. I know those allergies are like pew 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 at some of y'all, and I'm sorry. I hope y'all got your Claritin, your Benadryl, and everything else you need. Allergies can be some shit. I know. So. Thank you for coming back to Persia Red Space. Thank you for everybody that shared these videos, that support, and that, you know, really show love. I appreciate you, and I thank you, and I am always in constant gratitude. So, we're going to pick some energies here with my numerology deck, and we are going to go into detail with my hermetic tarot deck okay okay yeah i got your smoke you got your drink i've already burned out my place i've already spoken to spirit i'm all the way good spirit ancestors spirit guides totems what are some messages for this week that you want us to be aware of what are some things we should know what is the guidance for this week Okay, they gave us a lot of cards, like a lot, so I'm going to review it from April 4th to April 10th, what is going on with us, what should we keep an eye out for and be aware of, what goodies are coming, this one wanted to fly out. Let's see. Spirit, can you give us another one? And we have two. There's actually two connected to that other one. Is there anything else that you would like to say? One more shuffle. Okay. Then those two were it. Alright. So first card individuality with 11 okay and then we have manifestations with an eight all right all right this made me immediately happy so if you think about it we have the 11 for individuality one person, one being, what makes you you that is found in that one energy, that one being. They want you to pay attention to what makes you you. Not what you want to be, not what you see off other people that you want to conform to, but what are you who are you and why does that make you such an individual such an awesome being such an amazing person it's time for you to really pay attention and look into that no one else no one else's influence solo that's individuality like what is about you that you can see that you know that makes you such an amazing individual. And for some of us, we might need to write this down. I mean, you can say it out loud, but you might need to write it down to see it, to have that visual of what you know makes you an amazing individual, what makes you individual, what makes you dependent, independent, what makes you you. No better way for me to say it. 
So it's time to look into that. It's time to be aware of that. Manifestations. Eight is basically the infinity symbol. Manifestations are coming in over and over again, falling over each other, trying to get to you, get to us. The thing about it is you have to be honest about who you are as an individual. And how does your individuality go into your manifestations? How does your individuality go into your ability to bring forth your manifestations? Because once you're able to link the two together, your manifestations won't have a way to stop. Because you know how you work as an individual and how that works into your power to manifest, right? So this is kind of like a, a, a homework guidance for you to write down how you work because how you work as an individual will help you figure out how to create a never ending flow of manifestation. And doesn't that sound awesome? A never ending flow of manifestations. I mean, who wouldn't want that? I mean, I personally would love it. This is a, this is a thing for me to do too. Not just to all of you. Excuse me. One sec. Sorry about that. I need to get me some powder. <laughs> um, but no. So, being an individual, knowing how you work, familiarizing yourself with your own skills, harmonizing with yourself, accepting who you are, making your own space, making your own lanes because you are an individual and not everything works for everybody. Not everything works for everybody. So you have to form where you want to go if you haven't already done that. You also have to be comfortable with who you are as an individual. You have to accept yourself. You have to love yourself. You have to be willing to put in the work for yourself to know who you are as an individual to call upon your own power to call upon what power lives within you to work for your benefit in manifesting like remember uh what is it the law of attraction don't forget not being in harmony with yourself can attract the negative as much as it can attract the positive so when you're manifesting, you want this forever manifestation. You want to make sure that positive thinking, positive thoughts, but also being able to accept who you are and how you do things. Um, when you manifest, to not continuously think about it, but to let it form. Because sometimes the things we ask for is incomplete. And the universe has to make it complete so that we can get it the way we asked for or the way we need it which is kind of the way we asked for it just may not look the way we thought it would look and that's fine time to go into tarot with a little bit more detail there what is some detail that you can give us on individuality being ourselves knowing who we are accepting who we are harmonizing with our life in the cycles of what is going on. Okay, there's one. Is it? Okay, there's four. Our first card is the devil. Taking accountability and knowing what makes you feel good, like Lord of the Gates of Matter. So this deals with Jupiter, Jupiter, sheesh, hmm, so you can see that Capricorn and Jupiter, Capricorn and Jupiter, my bad, Jupiter's in Capricorn. So it's about shining light, sorry about that, shining light on 
the things that you desire and that you want to manifest and the things that are important to you. It's not about getting rid of your desires. It's about knowing what they are. Knowing what your desires are and the things that you want will help you realize who you are as an individual. Along with that, we also have Lord of Love, Two of Cups, but upside down. Some of us don't understand who we are. We're very biased, meaning we don't look at two different perceptions. We're having issues with certain people in our lives that we love, that we have a beautiful relationship with, or that we would that we used to have a beautiful relationship with. Some of us, it's a spouse um, that we are with, and we are so influenced by this spouse that we forget who we are as an individuality, or this person has been making you feel like you don't know who you are. So you need to pay attention and make sure that you understand that you are not the person that you are with. You are an individual. And then you work with the person that you are with, with your mate, with your spouse. But you are definitely an individual. Because this was Venus is in Cancer. So it's like, even though it's upside down, it's trying to benefit you to show you the beauty the love, the art, the attraction in your relationship, but to remember that you are still an individual. We also have the Ten of Pentacles, Lord of Wealth. This is Mercury and Virgo. So pay attention to You've been paying attention to how you utilize your financial and your physical. And that's good. Because knowing how you work, being able to analyze your monetary gains, your your prosperity, your success, it shows like, again, going into your individuality, who you are and how you work. So for this week, you want to pay attention to what's going on in your relationships. You want to pay attention to what you're desiring. You want to pay attention to how you positively influence your financials and your physical self. Last but not least, we have Fortitude, Daughter of the Flaming Sword. This is the North Node being in Jupiter. With the North Node being in Jupiter, Fortitude, yeah, Fortitude is basically letting you know that as an individual, you have strength, you have power, you have the ability to do, you have everything you need. It's just that you need to pay attention to certain things about your individuality so it can help you in your ability to manifest and bring things to you. Law of attraction. Once you know yourself, you know what yourself attracts. You know what yourself has issues attracting. But you always got to remember that you have the strength and that you can get past any blockages of manifesting. As long as you know yourself and you allow yourself to release any fear and any, you know, destructive thoughts that can get in the way of manifesting. So now for manifesting, let's get a little detail. Spirit for our manifestations paying attention to the law of attraction, becoming harmonized in a, the cycle of us so that we can continue to manifest at all times and in a beautiful space and only manifesting positive things. What type of detail can you give us on that? I'm going to shuffle one more time. What type of details can you give us? Okay. So two cards flew out. The first one was Justice. But it was upside down. So daughter of Lord of Truth, to help manifest, you have to be honest with yourself. Honest about what you want. When I say that, okay, so for me, let me use myself as an example. I felt some type of way about wanting to be rich, about wanting to have a big house, about wanting to have a lot of stuff. Now I don't feel bad about that. That's what I desire. That's what I want. But I also realized that what I desire in that has something good like okay yes i want a big house but i also wanted to be able to facilitate 
healing and help within my family and within my friends. So that big house isn't just for me. It is for others. Um, me wanting to be rich and wealthy goes into so that I can give back so that I can help others that have less than me. So I'm able to do more giveaways. I'm able to pop up and surprise people with things that will help them holistically, energetically, to help keep them on balance. So being honest with yourself, I had to be honest with myself to realize to, to, to be better with my manifestations. So be honest, be just with yourself. Don't look at only like manifesting or money as negative. It's not knowing what you want and how you want to utilize it is a positive thing. It's being honest with yourself. It's being able to put yourself in a position where the universe hears you. And because you're being honest, it hears your honesty, not your honest, not a lie. And then the other part. It hears the complete truth that you're trying to say and not what's in your brain and then what you say out loud. And it doesn't match. Make sense? All right. Our next card. We have the Eight of Cups. It says, Lord of Abandoned Success. It is upside down. It is dealing with Pisces, Jupiter and Pisces. Whereas Justice dealt with Libra. And being just between venus see this is a lot of jupiter because even in a justice card even though it deals with libra it talks about um venus and jupiter and in the eight of cups it deals with pisces and jupiter and if we remember in manifestations we had mars and jupiter so it's not, with abandoned success, it's like you're not really getting far with what you're doing. But with this here, it is telling you that you are going to get far. There is an expansion. Um, there has to be, though, a balance, an emotional balance in your reality and in your spiritual sense, like in your head. You need to have a balance between your reality and being in your head. It's really important because Pisces deals with both. And it's funny like how in Pisces it looks like the fish create a yin and yang and this balance the yin and yang. You There isn't a balance right now of justice or of things going your way because you're not being honest with yourself. But if you choose to be honest with yourself and create that balance and harmonize, manifestations will come easy it will come easy like there's nothing stopping you but you being honest with yourself and being and making sure that you're emotionally secure meaning being honest with how you feel emotionally what you want and being able to ask for your manifestation and let it flow Ask for your blessing and let it flow without coming back to poke at it and figure out why and do all this extra stuff. Because the more you do that, the more you slow things down. That means you don't know yourself because you don't trust yourself. It all goes back to being honest and trusting yourself. Be honest and trust yourself. You want your seeds to bloom? Be honest and trust yourself because your seeds are not blooming. Or they'll have delayed blooming because of what you're lacking to do with yourself. And your emotions are important because your emotions, you have two emotion cards here. You have two cups. You have two of cups upside down. You have eight of cups upside down. It plays a part with your emotions, but you have these three major arcanas that's telling you that there's going to be a major shift once you fix with your emotions. And even your money is going to have... A great opening for it a great opening so pay attention this week really work on your trust within yourself and your honesty within yourself if you're not being honest you're, you're just slowing down your manifestations and who is that helping it's not helping you I hope you guys got what I'm trying to put down what I was trying to lay down for you I am always happy to come here and talk to you guys and give you a little guidance and help push you along because it helps me. It helps push me along too. 
I thank you for all the support and the love. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to share with somebody because you never know who really needs this. And do not forget to subscribe so you can catch everything I got to say. And if you aren't, you can always join my Patreon and my Buy Me a Cup of Coffee platforms because I got some things on there and there's always a monthly gift included. So, see you guys next time. Bye, loves.